I'm LaToya Matthews and welcome to my show. Today we're doing Cookie 101. I've got a great meal prepared that we're going to get two in one. Today we're doing some bell peppers. Now with this what you'll need is I'm using bell peppers red, yellow, and green over some nice brown rice. This will be a perfect side dish. I'm making a very vegetarian version but if you'd like to you can add meat at any time. So let's get to cooking. Let me get my ingredients right fast. Now this recipe I got from a restaurant. I used to always go to this Chinese place and it was absolutely delicious. So I decided to make my own version at home. Now I'm going to use brown rice. Brown rice is a whole grain rice that has a little bit more nutritional value than white rice because as you know, white rice is bleached completely white. So let's get this rice on first because it'll take the longest to cook. Four cups of water to two cups of rice or vice versa, one cup of rice and two cups. It's a double the plan. So we're going to get our cup down. Now with my cups, they all came in packs. I take them loose because they're a little easy for me to so rinse this out right fast. So it'd be four cups of water to two cups of brown rice. Okay, because what I'm, I'm gonna make some stuffed bell pepper sauce. So I'm gonna turn my fire on. I'm gonna get it to a nice boil, and once it starts boiling, then I'm gonna simmer it for about 45 minutes. I just got hip to brown rice recently. I guess in the last um, 10 years. Prior to that, I always used white rice. I didn't know it was such um, white rice was so much more healthy. That brown rice was so much healthier than white rice. Just one cup. It's not tough, quite two, so let me get another bag right there. Okay. Now That'll be three cups of rice because I put in six cups of water. Two and three. And I'm going to bring this up to a boil. And once it starts boiling, I'm going to put a lid on it and let it sit. And I always seal it up nice and tight, keep that moisture out. This is such an easy meal. And it's absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna rinse off all our vegetables and then we're gonna to get to chopping everything up. We're using some nice beef tomatoes. And I have bell peppers, yellow, orange, and red. And green. And with the green, I'm going to stuff two of these to show you how easy it is to make more than one meal while you're preparing. Okay. So let's get started. All of these vegetables, we're going to start dicing them up. And it's really simple how I like to do it. I just cut the top off, then I go inside and I take my time and I cut out the membranes on the inside. You get all of this white stuff out with the seeds and everything because it makes it a little bitter. Then I lay it down and I cut it in strips. Now once I have it inside strips, it makes it easier to chop. And these pieces, I'm going to make them kind of large because 
this is the bulk of the meal are the peppers and this here check out this trick just pop out the middle one two three Same thing, chop off the top. Boy, when I was little, my mother would make us chop up tons of bell peppers, onions, and celery. See, it's just recently, I guess in the past 10 years that they started selling pre-cut vegetables. Prior to that, you had to cut everything. And so my mother, she actually thought of having us cut them up. So what we would do, she would come home, we would rinse off all of the vegetables, and her trinity was bell peppers, onions, and celery. And she flavored almost every meal with those three. So we would sit around the living room, and she would bring out TV tables, and her and my sister, and sometimes she would even have my brothers do it. We would sit around and chop them all up. She would put them in airtight baggies and throw them inside the freezer. And that way, anytime that she needed um, they were already cut for. That was a pretty bright idea considering she could have made a million because right now that's what everybody is buying pre-cut vegetables. Now with this one right here, it's got a little bit of the white. I make sure I get most of the white out because it's not as sweet. It's kind of got a little bitter taste to it. So the veins, you make sure you get that white membrane out if you see it. And recently, not recently, I guess, but in the past year, I found out that um, bell peppers, I always thought that the color green was the final stage. I had no idea that green is the first color of a bell pepper. And then it turns other colors. And when it's at its total ripe, when it's the most nutritional and has the most benefits as far as health-wise and all of the vitamins and everything is when it's red. Who knew? Yeah, we're going to get this all chopped up. And this recipe, this is the hardest part of all, is this. Also, in your brown rice, now I don't use butter, but if you want to use butter or salt, you can season the water now while it's cooking. But with me, I try to go to, with the natural flavors of food. And since with this, I'm going to make a gravy. I really am not going to season that rice at all. Okay. And this is going to make for some good eating. And before I start cooking them, I make sure I have everything chopped. Once they start simmering, I'll chop my onions because the onions will be the last I throw in there because they cook pretty fast and I want them to have some good flavor, a little crunch to it. You know, that's what the Asian meal, everything has a little bit of crunch. Now, with mushrooms, you don't have to necessarily wash them. If you see anything on them, you can just wipe them off with a little paper towel or something. Because when you, they're very moist. So if you wash them, they'll hold on to all of that moisture and whatever you have, it'll definitely water it down. So we really don't want that. And with this particular meal here, I I'm having a vegetarian version but when originally while well, um, I was getting at the Chinese restaurant they actually had meat in it and you can put shrimp chicken or beef if you like and what you would do is just saute whatever type of meat you want up and get it completely done and once it is you can just throw it over your meal now with my mushrooms I'm just quartering them you see I'm cutting them down the middle and inside. And my 
my rice is coming to a boil. So I'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer and put a lid on it. Okay. Now everything I cook, I always use I always use olive oil all the time. It's a healthy, natural um, oil and it digests really well. So I'm going to get my olive oil out. I'm going to get some onion powder and some garlic powder and a bit of pepper. Oh, also, I'm going to use some amino acids too, so we might as well get them out. So first I'm going to put a, genu a genuous amount of olive oil in there and let it get nice and hot. I'm going to get my garlic out the fridge and I'm going to put my garlic in first. Now this is just what I believe. I, I don't have any way of knowing this if it's a fact but to me because I use pre-cut garlic, I throw that in the grease first. It seems like it helps release the flavor and that way it saturates through my other vegetables. My, that's just me. And so I use a nice heaping portion of garlic, but it's up to you. And I guess that would be maybe two or three cloves of garlic. Because it really seasons the meal. Get it nice and hot. Okay, that oil is pretty nice. So now let's start putting in my other vegetables. I'm going to put in my bell peppers and my mushrooms. around in the oil real good. And I'm going to put a top on them just so they can simmer. I'm going to turn this down a tinch. And while that's doing that, now I'm going to chop up my onion. I use red onion, but you could use a white onion. I just think a red onion has a little bit, it's a little bit sweeter to me. So I like to use it on when I cook this particular meal. And the last thing that we're, we will be adding is our tomatoes. Because, as I stated, I love my vegetables to have a little crunch to it. And the tomatoes, they'll cook all the way down. And really, I don't want to cook my tomatoes. I just want to warm them. And I just want to get the flavor of tomato. I'll cut that end piece off. And you know what? I may put another onion in here because it seems like this one's much smaller than I thought. Another quick tip bit. I put my onions in the refrigerator and it seems like because they're cold, they don't make my ice water. And if you cut them during the ridges, when it cooks down, they'll break apart on their own. And this is nice, sweet onion, the real one. Now, I always use shortcuts all of the time on everything that I do. Now, I'm sure at this Chinese restaurant, it's no telling all of the ingredients they put into their sauce. Well, with me, the one thing I thought of a quick fix for an Asian sauce. And it's low in sodium. It doesn't have any MSG. Mmm. I wish you could smell the rum on it. Oh, okay. Let me put a little bit of flavor on it, too. Now, since I don't use salt, I do flavor up my food with with powders. I use garlic powder and also 
onion powder. Now I know you're saying, well, you put garlic in there and you already put onion, but I like to layer my flavor. And I use some fresh ground pepper. Gives it a nice little flavor. And you can flavor your things to taste. But the only thing I wouldn't change, now you can add meat. Once your meat is done, throw it over with your vegetables. And you can change out vegetables. I would keep the bell peppers though, but if you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to have that. But the one thing I would not change, I would not add any salt. Because if you're using soy sauce or amino acids, the sodium is already there. Ooh, one of them jumped out the pan. Okay. Now while that's doing that, I am going to make my sauce. And again, my quick fix is brown gravy. Simple, that's all it is. It's just brown gravy. But believe it or not, this gravy mixed with that amino acids, it is delicious. And it tastes just like an authentic Asian sauce. Now, if you don't have that, what you can do is, you can probably just buy the canned gravy. But since I use this, and it's very simple to make, it's just a cup of cold water. And I'm using two packs, so it's two cups of brown cold water. And that's one thing I love to show is that how easy it is to cook healthy meals. You don't have to spend all day in the kitchen. You can get in here, all you have to do is prepare. Get organized first. Know exactly what you're going to cook beforehand. And once you plan out everything, you can just get in here and within 30 minutes, you can have a great meal. And one thing, when you make the meal yourself, you know exactly what's going into it. Now, some of you will may, may want to make your own gravy. I'm not one. I think I tried gravy once, and it was so lumpy and tasteless, I never tried again. I have a cousin. I went over her house, and that gravy was absolutely delicious. And I was like, how did you get this gravy from? It was so good. And she didn't tell me, but her husband gave, me, gave away her secret. And you never guess what it was. She actually would go buy the gravy from Kentucky Fried Chicken and use it. That was pretty smart, don't you think? <laughs> I can tell you once I left, I don't think they had a happy night because she wasn't pleased at all <laughs> that he devoured that secret to me. But um, it was some good gravy. So any way that you can figure it out, you do. Now this here, you see, just move it around here. Let me check on my vegetables. I wish you could smell the freshness in this. It smells absolutely delicious. And this is a great meal to entertain with because it's, it's very cost efficient. The highest thing you'll probably pay is for your bell peppers. And if the red and yellow and orange bell peppers are really expensive, you can make this just with green bell peppers. As a matter of fact, the Chinese restaurant that I went to, that's all I had was green bell peppers. I just like to spice it up a bit because I like the flavors of yellow and red. But the green ones are usually pretty reasonable. Okay, I'm gonna check my rice right fast. Oh, it's doing nicely. Doing nicely. Okay, now I know you're wondering, how am I going to turn some brown gravy into an Asian sauce? It's very simple. Amino acids. If you don't use amino acids, you can use soy sauce. Just put a generous amount in there. Stir it around. And taste it. Perfect. 
herb an Asian brown sauce now sometimes when I want to have that um, Thai sauce I put peanut butter in with my brown gravy and soy sauce and that gives it a different flavor all of these are quick fixes and sometimes I want teriyaki I put a little honey in with my brown gravy some peanut butter and soy sauce and we're going to warm it up. My rice is ready. It's been cooking for 45 minutes. And look how nice it is plumped up. Now with brown rice, if you all are really into some good, um, a whole grain, it's excellent. Because you can make a large pot of it and keep it inside your refrigerator. And you can use it with all type of meals. One of the best things that I use it with, old rice, is stir fry. That's right, you can make your own um, shrimp fried rice or vegetable fried rice. My vegetables have simmered down. I'm going to pour my gravy on top. And the icing on the cake is my tomatoes. Now I like to use a knife that has saturations on it. steak knife. It has nice ridges on it. And I cut my tomatoes over my vegetables so all the juice can run in. I get I don't lose not one bit. All oh, that good tomato. Oh, boy, you got to be careful too when you cut it this way because you can definitely cut your hand. I almost got mine that time. And this entire meal if you prepare your rice in advance, it only will take you about 30 minutes or less. Okay. Get another one. The only thing about this meal, it doesn't keep well. So you probably want to eat it within 24 hours of you preparing it. I have had it sometimes the following day, but the vegetables get really soft. I don't care for soft vegetables. I like them when they're a little stiffer, so you want to see about eating it within the day that you make it. And this meal actually is very inexpensive. It'll probably run you maybe about $10, $15. Okay. Now I'm going to stir everything together. And I'm going to taste it. love when I eat my own cooking but this is delicious you have to try this at home it's so simple and easy you see how fast I prepared it and it is delicious it's a great meal to entertain with I'm gonna fix a little bit just so you can see how nice and then we're gonna go to our next recipe oh my goodness is this delicious I mean oh this is delicious. This is delicious. I just love my food. Okay, a little brown rice. A nice helping. And a nice helping of our vegetables over our rice. Get some of that good gravy.
and there it is folks now this meal here was like one two three I'm gonna taste it all together delicious absolutely delicious and you do not have to worry about overeating because it's healthy now the rice is a carbohydrate so if you are going to eat a large bowl of it eat it kind of early in the day but it's absolutely delicious okay now you have it an Asian cuisine that's one two three that you've made at Cooking 101. And remember, if you can't give anything at all, you can give a smile. Take care. <laughs>